Hi, it's me again, that one dude Chris from YouTube, and welcome back to Slay the Princess. You already know what time it is, I don't even need to say anything, let's not waste any time, and let's get into it. We are back once again, and this time I think we're going to be completely on board with killing the princess, like we're going to go through with everything that the narrator says to us. We're going to really stand on business this time, and we're not going to... We're not going to let her her words sway us at all. So I'm going to go with the sweet I've always wanted to talk to to off a monarch. That's the spirit. Yeah, I hate this chair. The door to the basement. Uh-huh. Uh and then she asks, "Who's there?" Um Continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. Yes, sir. He likes that. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Oh, you know it. You know that's what I'm here to do. What? No way. Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. Nah, nah, uh. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh, no talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Did she still- did she have the same kind of demeanor when I tried the first time? Because I feel like she's- she's aggressively more, like, stern with her words this time than she was the first time I came down here. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. I'm a, I'm a fuck around and find out kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna step forward. Arm. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Finish her. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Are you sure she's not armed? I'm sorry, can we just talk? I'm not dropping the blade. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. This is it, isn't it? It is. The end. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder. Do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Yes, because I've seen 14 million 600 and something 50 whatever Doctor Strange said. Different timelines. And this is the one where you die. It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes. Even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago, that arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over? I think we're fine, stop being a bitch. Of course it is, she's dead. Wait, what? Was that... I'm not sure, I feel like she... Has to have some kind of trick up her sleeve. Of course not. That was too easy. Oh. That's the option that I chose the first time that I slayed her. So now that's grayed out. And I have to pick one of these other two uncertain feelings. Ooh. That was too easy. It's over. Don't get all worked up. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? She's going to grab us if you do that. I really don't think you should do that. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. Remove the blade, check for a pulse. I did say I was going to listen to the narrator. You lean down Wait, what did that- your hand around the blade's hilt. But as you begin to slide it out of its resting place, you feel a sharp and sudden jab in your side. What was that? I guess I won't be dying alone after all. <laughs> Yo! Quick, let's get out of here. It's too late for that now. 
You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her own deeper between your ribs. As you fall, she falls with you, exhausted by the effort, the little life that was left in her eyes fading rapidly. Jesus! An eye for an eye, a life for a life. I guess we're even now. Shit, I guess so. See you around. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? It doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you. For whatever that's worth. Everything Chapter goes dark. And you die. Chapter 2? The Razor. I like how the chapters have different names as well. If we go down the route of remembering what happened or asking about what happened, he's just going to be like, oh, I can assure you you've never been here before. I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that <laughs> she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. Voice of the cheated. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. You said this whole thing would be easy, but after we sank our blade into her heart, she just got up and started stabbing us. Jeez. I wonder how many voice of the, other than the hero and the narrator, I wonder how many other voices there are. Calm down, I assure you oh. she has no weapons, so there's no reason to fear her. You were- Oop, sorry. You were made for this job, you'll do just fine. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I- eh. I feel like we have asked this question before, so I'm just gonna- yeah. Those are two very different questions. Yeah, I asked this already. For a moment, a warning before you go any further. She will lie. He couldn't be more on the money, but we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Yes, we do. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. Yes, we will. Proceed to the cabin. Ah. The interior Whoa. of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards. Their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You didn't say anything about the mirror. This whole cabin is different. The last time I approached the mirror, take the blade. Let's just take the blade because every time we approach you the mirror, the blade it's not the there. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. You're absolutely right, narrator. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. Into the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it. Like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. What, are you a fucking cyborg now? Why do you sound like that? There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. 
She just wants us to get close to let our guard down. I get so giddy every time I play this game because it's it's so good for no reason. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? If I come closer, if I come closer, you're just going to stab me, aren't you? Do you remember what happened last time? Let's just... Let's just slay the... Screw it. Slay the fucking princess. The princess falls silent. Her smile unwavering as you charge across the room. Okay, she hasn't pulled out a knife yet, and her hands are still behind her back. I think we can do this. I think we can win. We just have to strike now, but make sure you keep your eyes on those hands. I don't trust her for a second. But your focus is broken by the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Who's meat? Not ours. Right? <laughs> Who's meat? <laughs> Who's me? <laughs> I'm childish, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm childish. Hers at first, then yours. Hee <laughs> hee. Why'd you say it like that? How? What, what did she even hit us with? You stare down at your chest and at the long, thin blade she impaled you with. Is that the sword? That's our blade, right? And then the red, angry slit along the flesh of her thigh where the blade had been nestled just a moment ago. It's still lodged in her leg, emerging from her knee, hinging up and out of her body like some extra metallic limb. Bull shit. Absolute bullshit. You're going to die now. Jesus. With a twist of her knee and a painful squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter three. <laughs> Chapter three. You're on a path in the woods. No, fuck that. If we're gonna have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. Your what? The interior of the cabin is sharp, a constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards. Wait, excuse me. What just happened? What did you just do? I feel dizzy. Oh ho ho ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? We all do, apparently. The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Voice of the Running hunted isn't an option anymore. We the have to fight. Voice of the hunted. Good. It's better that way. Voice Without of the stubborn. Fight, no one can win, and if no one can win, then nothing has any <coughs> meaning. Great. So obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction. It's really right. not my fault. I don't think there's ever been a successful time that we've been able to slay this lady. That can't be right. That's too much responsibility. Nah, impossibly high stakes make the fight so much better. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table, a pristine blade perched. We take it. Okay, sure, you take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Yeah. This feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. There's no doorway down to the basement, though. That's right, we've got to be able to win eventually. We will win eventually. Hell, we might even win now. That's a fighting spirit I like to see. You could all learn a thing or two from this one. Yeah. I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? But there isn't a door, there's just that mirror. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. So, I wonder... I really wonder what the narrator's purpose is, because... Once we're in the the nowhere, the void or whatever it's called, the dark space, the entity that we talk to who we're piecing back together doesn't ever mention the narrator. And the narrator never seems to know what's going on when we've repeated this loop. So I'm kind of just wondering, like the narrator also never notices the mirror whenever we whenever we bring it up. 
So what's really going on here? I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right. Could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. If it's in our way, let's just break it and move on. Approach the mirror. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Wipe the mirror. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. How eh, surprising. It was never there. Let's just get to the princess already. I didn't care about the mirror before, and I care about it even less now. Standing on business, this one is. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic. An unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Ow. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. <laughs> but don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. She's got another thing coming if she thinks we're going down easy again. Pride makes us dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Yeah, we're gonna kill her. Does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. The past isn't real. There's only here and now. Jesus. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. We fucked up. <laughs> We're cooked. We fucked up, guys. <laughs> what is that? She's loose, and she is coming for you. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Oh my god, she's so uncomfortable. Shit, she's coming for us and I'm out of ideas. We're gonna fight her again, and we're gonna have to stiff upper lip about it. She won't, she can't hurt us if we don't let ourselves feel it. We're going to appeal to her authority, puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk this out. We're going to unconditionally surrender. Oh, well, that's easy. I'm going to try flirting. <laughs> she has swords for arms and we don't. We're panicking. Uh, she wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. All of these ideas suck. Think of something better. Yeah, that's right. We just have to think. There's probably an answer if we think. Just standing there, huh? A bold strategy. Why does she sound so robotic? You don't have time to finish your thought. In a moment, she's across the room, blades flashing in the dim starlight. She skewers you. Oh, man. Ow. What a surprise. Yeah, we don't even get a second to think without her stabbing us. Oh, man. Oh, a new one of us. Wait, who was that? I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? You're on a... No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? I don't like that we died without us knowing it. This really, really blurs some lines that I prefer not to be blurred. Are we still dead? Are we alive again? How are we even supposed to know the difference? Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. <laughs> Tell me about it. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. I don't I love that. To talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another us. Let's see how many we can stack. 
There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. Interesting idea. We don't need any other voices chattering about in here. It'll just confuse us. All we need is to keep fighting. Yeah, I'll pass on that. As long as we keep moving. Who was the new one? Come on. Show me something new. Come on. <laughs> okay. Plan. Voice of the skeptic. Now. Okay. Uh she wins by kill. Okay, so that option to just think of something hasn't worked. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try my smooth Casanova personality. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna try flirting with it. What's good, baby girl? It doesn't work, and she kills you again and again and again and again. Your memory blurs, and your conscience leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflicts that transpires. Compliment her on those gleaming blades. There's nothing better than a voice of the woman. smitten. Excuse <laughs> you. Ah uh, man. You're cute. Thanks. So are you. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. And then you skewer yourself. Oh. I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh? That didn't do much of anything. Voice of the contrarian. I thought. <laughs> What's the point? It's all it's the problem. same. She skewers you. Oh, don't give up on me just yet. You gotta keep going. Oh my god. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. Just panic. Flee. What's the very annoying? <laughs> I guess I'm getting my answer. I guess I'm getting my initial answer from when we first started this was how many voices are there? Excuse you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. See? We're getting better. No, we're not. Okay, yeah. That was a good one. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? No. One last time. This last time is gonna be the last time. You're right. One last time. That's all we need. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. <laughs> she skewers you. Damn. Really thought we had it that time. Dark and you die. Chapter four. Oh, mutually assured destruction. Holy shit. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. Oh. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. Oh, what if we throw it out the window? Her? Over my dead body. Throw what out the window? That won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. That's sad. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a- Not of you again! <laughs> sure I can think of a better way to die. Eh, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... How about you stick to describing things, and we'll stick to doing them? Yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards <laughs> our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. This one, th uh, I don't miss you, but I kind of miss you. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only it's more of a slide. We know. Wow. I, I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Thanks, buddy. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs or this room or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Good. Let's keep it that way. Let's move on. I don't care. Just want to win. <laughs> Fine. You make your way to the basement where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. 
sound like that. Oh. 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 I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? Hey, now listen, I know I tend to do this every episode, but I mean, when she's saying stuff like that, I mean, how can I not? She's, she's practically begging for me. <laughs> okay, I need to, I fucking need to stop. This is serious. I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait and not for very long because I'm going to do it right now. Okay, do it. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh. Do, do you want me to talk now? Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go, now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. Then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Holy shit! She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Even still, how can you? I mean, I guess that's part of the characteristic, but even still, oh my goodness, there's no way anybody can find this attractive. Yes, behold the perfect woman. Do you think we can throw her out the window? <laughs> that looked painful. She clearly doesn't give a shit. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating, that's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. She doesn't even have a back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? Yeah. This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We're screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Shut up. Forget shut up. Shut up, all of you. All of you, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was literally joking. What just happened? Your mind. It's so quiet. Oh my god. Him too. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. <laughs> you do not act, and yet through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes as you approach, but as her blow finishes its arc, you're already somewhere else. You're incredible. Oh, I've learned how to bend reality. Your weapons clash again and again. You and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There is only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of tides back, of the tides back and forth between you. The deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, and the faster the momentum volleys between you. An endlessly building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volu volition, 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 and hers strikes too. Master yourself and vanquish a sharp foe. <laughs> Both strikes are lethal. Neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's come. What's to come? This is a good ending. You do not get to see each other die, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Wow. You do so. Silence as you reach toward the glass. It's time for you to see what's in it. You've withered. <laughs> you find yourself in the long quiet once again. Hello, my lady. Oh, she's the sharp one now. You are at the cabin. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. 
a mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. How can you stand to be a contradiction? It doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? What do you think of this vessel? Um, you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind. Have you figured out what you'll want when you be finished? Do you still not care what I bring you next? How many more vessels do I need? I'm ready to go back. Um, let's just start asking some questions. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. As easily as you can stand to be you, you are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. No, not really. It all seems so distant as soon as I near you. I have no opinion one way or another on the matter. I just want it all to stop. Yes, you're torturing me and I hate it. I think I hate you. Remain silent. Honestly, it doesn't. Just because, I mean, I'm not the one going through all the deaths. But I know that when we go through all these scenarios with the princess, it's kind of just looking into different realities as to how this relationship between I and the princess can go. And then coming back here is the full story. She's unaware of who she really is right now. And by piecing this all together, we're helping her realize and we're helping ourselves realize going back into what I was saying in the last video about this being a metaphor for a relationship. So it's like, it all seems distant as soon as I'm near you because all of those other realities are kind of just a distant past. This is us now. It does seem small from here. And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. Um... This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Interesting. Have you figured out what you'll want? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. We will know when we near our destination. Valid. All right. I think I'm ready to go. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. All right, bring the razor full to her. Oh, so there's a razor half or a razor You're on not a path full. in the woods. Uh huh. Oh, okay. What? 
kind of route do we want to take next? What if I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do. Nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? The end of the world? What are you talking uh, Oh, okay, we're just back here. <clears throat> um, have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Well, I appreciate the mental exercise we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she is dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. Yep. And you don't know that. you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. That's a little extreme of a metaphor and analogy. Yes, of course. You do your job and slay her. Mm. Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though. Does it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. Why are we using any of these three as an example? Have I have I done this before? Have I slain those three before? I don't want to slay anybody if I'm being completely honest with you. I want to try to waste time by sitting here asking questions, but I don't think that that's going to do anything. I think that it'll just leave me with silently continuing to the cabin. So this time I kind of just want to talk with her. But... I think I'm going to take the blade and then decide that I'm going to talk instead. You take the blade from the table. Yep. The daughter. We will continue down the stairs. Good. You're still listening to reason. Um, I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it, and then we can chat? She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Drop it. <clears throat> the blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. I know. I This isn't quite how I thought it would happen. These days, you know, everybody's meeting somebody some kind of way. Dating apps, the club, the bars, in dungeons. It's kind of a weird world, a weird world we live in. Yeah, it's a uh, pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? We'll start with the basics. What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Okay, all right, you're being smug now. I could kill Note you. the lack of detail. You can't trust her. Quiet, you! Do you know why I'm here to kill you? How long have you been down here? Too long. That's not an answer. Again, she offers no specifics. No matter how hard you try, you'll never get a straight answer out of her. There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. Don't just tell her that. 
<laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Deflect. What are you going to do if I let you out? I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping the information. No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I am inclined to trust them. I definitely don't want to go with that, because she's not giving me any reason to trust her right now. She's been a lot nicer in the past, and this this ain't it, Chief. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons. I was hoping you'd tell me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. This is true. The trust and communication. Slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. We've been there before, trust me. I'm familiar. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Good questions, all good questions. She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. All my other questions are gone. How would I get you out of here? <laughs> a relationship? Are you coming on to me? That's the only one that's still here, so I think don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Interesting. Okay, how would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? So it seems like all paths either lead to, even if we were to talk to her, all paths lead to us trying to get her out of this cabin or we fight her and either kill her or we die. She is, I'm sure of it. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Say the princess, I'm getting you out of here. Examine the chains. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while, us, while I decide what to do. Keep her locked away. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking you. I'm locking her in the basement. I know you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. No one wins here. Then let's find out. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. 
You're making a mistake. No, you are. Leave me. Leave me be. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. <laughs> slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. No, we're sticking to the plan and locking her down here. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I had already committed to not slaying the princess. The death of all of us. Not choosing one. Have it your way. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, we can make this work. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? <coughs> it's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. But it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my... Good side. Oh! She's terrifying. Like she's less of a princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of her mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. You don't know the kind of enemy she's made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. So what do we do about that, Mr. Narrator, man? Threaten me all you want, all it does is ease my guilty conscience. So all of that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. Ignore her and go to sleep. Ooh. All of that was an act. I could be innocent and harmless if I want to be. Teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. That's fair. I, that, yeah, I thought, yeah. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken and the table shoved out of the way. Where is she? Thanks for helping me get out of that awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin. Unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. Oh. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer. One silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Oh! Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing about this is she... All these different realities, there have only been, like, maybe a few where things turn out right. Like, I think there's only one where we end up falling in love with her and we get her out successfully. And that has been the only timeline where things go good. Everything else, we've ended up dying or we've ended up slaying her and like killing ourselves. It's. It feels like there's more bad in her than there is good, but I don't know. I genuinely have no idea. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. I don't have gills, I'm human. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. 
You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end. Don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. Crazy. Chapter two, the nightmare. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Okay, no. Oh, don't you start grandstanding about morals. The fate of the world is at risk right now, and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Shh. What if he hears us? Voice of the paranoid. That's where you come from. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. <laughs> I think you'll find yourselves very hard-pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because like I said, this is the first time we've met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. Proceed to leave it. What happens if I leave and turn around on my on the second chapter? Because the first chapter allows you to leave and turn around, but you keep going back to the cabin. But I haven't tried it on the second chapter. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Fine. A warning before you go. She will lie. I don't think lying and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Thank you, Paranoid. Proceed to the cabin. What does it look like now? The interior of the cabin is plain. Kind of boring. The wood of the walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hold on. What happened to the door? There was a door here last time. It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Let's go ahead and take that blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Not even gonna worry about that mirror right there. Good. Steel can't lie to us. <laughs> Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? That's crazy. <laughs> We're gonna blow ourselves and the princess up if we do that. Wait, is that something? Oh my God, that's, oh! There are shadows of the princess staring into the cabin. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Enter the basement. There's no point in approaching the mirror. It's going to do the same thing every time. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the eyes. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Do you believe me now, narrator? Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. How hard is it to throw in? <laughs> I'm going to talk to her. We don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being such pessimists right now. Step off into the void between the stairs. That's an interesting choice. 
So I'm either, it's between I'm going to talk to her and stepping off into the void. But I think stepping off into the void might be, might be an interesting turn of events. You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Oh, come on! Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? I could just leave it all behind and end it now. I was curious. I don't know. Falling into an infinite void seemed better than going downstairs and dying. I'm just scared. It was curiosity, but this seems like a better answer. How would falling into an infinite void be better than anything? <sighs> you make your way to the bottom of the stairs. I'm Mr. Narrator. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones, visible against the inky black of the basement, mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. Yes, sir, narrator, sir. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter, because either way you go, I'm going to find you. <laughs> That's good. Uh, go back the way you came. You turn back to the stairs, only to find that they aren't there. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. We fucked up! As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? And you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. Can we just talk to her again? I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. As your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, your lungs pull in a lungs, desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot nerves, back open. Heart, lungs. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want... And then experience stops once more, as your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Lungs. Can't decide what you want to do, Lungs. can you? Heart. Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just standing there. <laughs> One second. <laughs> she isn't attacking us. Why? Because we're attacking ourselves, basically. The why doesn't matter, she's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her, and end this before it's too late. Liver. Why won't you finish me off? What a good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? What happened after you killed me last time? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. You're a lunatic, you know that? If you want to work together... Can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? How about I just kill you instead? We don't have to be enemies, we can work together, we can be friends even. I'm not going- I'm not doing any of this, I'm not helping you leave and I'm not going to try and kill you. So do your worst, toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. 
Oh, I like that one. Okay, let's get out of here. Leave together. Fine, you win. I'll let you leave. Whoa. All right, I want to ask some questions first. Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. She's not wrong. I'll do it myself. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. I got that William Afton disease. The princess leans forward, bringing her masked lips close to your ear. If I want to see you gone, all I need to do is break your concentration. Please don't do that. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. Am I gonna die then... again? Shit, shit, make her stop. Hey, snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Your back. Lungs, liver, nerves. One moment, and then you're gone. Just like that. Ah, and there's the fear. She pulls away. But that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? I've already done that. What happened after you killed me last time? I was sitting here and just... Ah. Remain here with your nightmare. Are you serious? You fling the blade into the void, denying yourself the opportunity to ever slay her and finish your mission. Nobody's happy here, but maybe it's for the best. You poor deluded thing. Do you think a single moment of bravery changes you into something you're not? I am what I am, and you're always going to be a coward. I made the wrong choice. She raises a hand to her mask and pulls it down. You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth, death, birth again, decay and bloom, a million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. No, 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 no. Let me out. Your existence hurts them. Let me out. Now! A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. And then it's there again. Let me out. A reprieve. A good life. Love. Children. A steady career. Recognition from your peers. Here one moment, gone the next. The worms have found their orifices. Let me out! Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger, rage, distance, poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies. It is reborn. Worse. Lonelier. Let. Me. Out. No, 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 no. No, no. What's, what's happening to us? Let me out. What's happening to her? This is all too much. I can't keep going. You can't keep going? Well, what are you talking about? But he doesn't respond. Oops. I think I broke you. I'll see you soon. You'll know what to do. Your body is dead, but you live on. See what's behind the map. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The moment of clarity. You're on a path in the... Shit, shit. What? What the hell was that? Who are we? What are we doing? There was a princess, I think. It's all so fuzzy. It hurts when I try to remember. You shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... You've already been here, haven't you? Why do you believe it now? I guess. It, it feels so long ago, almost like we've never left. We have to let her out. Voice of the Broken. 
No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. You have to slay her. Slay? We decided not to do that, didn't we? Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. Voice of the opportunist. It's really the only way this works out for so us. So now I've got all the voices it. back. She's the one with power here. Nobody else can do much of anything. No, we were supposed to keep her trapped there forever. I think we're supposed to be unfeeling. How many times do I have to tell you to snuff out your heart? We can't be unfeeling. Not when there's so much fear everywhere. There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. We love her. So we have to set her free. Any chance that we can vote somebody off the island? Because I think I want to... Can we love something that hates us? Can we love something that hurts us? To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel would be more pure than any other love. Why are there so many of us? There aren't supposed to be so many of us. This is bad. You need to get a grip. What did you let happen? How many times have you been here? I think they're all wrong. That's a good question. How many times have all have you all been here? What if we don't go to the cabin? Can you make sense of them? I feel so disjointed. I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't know if I can slay her. The only way out is to do nothing. Stay here, stay where you are. Shit. This could lead to a few different paths as well. Stay here? You do nothing. You can't just do nothing. Well, because we you tried something. We tried staying here before. That's but not here. You one. Huh. Do you think it'll work? No. Nothing ever works. Boo. You're the worst one. He's not the one who got us into this mess. At least I keep you breathing around her. See? That's why the sad one's the worst. The jumpy one tries. <laughs> Who cares? All of you just yap about nothing. Certified yapper. And that kind of attitude is why you're in the top half. Great. And that's why you're not the top. I want to see what nothing does for us. And right now, all of you aren't letting nothing happen. Hopefully this stuffs all the rest of them someplace quiet. You need me, and you need to not have them. Get you killed by himself? Oh, all of us have gotten all the rest of us killed at one point or another. That's hardly even a concern now. As the little voices bicker amongst themselves, you do your best to stay still in the woods. It is difficult. And the more time you spend waiting, the harder it will be to sharpen your focus when you need it. I wonder what we look like right now. Are we standing? Sitting? I like to think we have an air of dignity. I mean, technically, I'm, I'm sitting, so it's like, there's, there's your answer, maybe? My point, exactly. Proceed to the cabin! You slowly make your way through the umbral forest, bumping against unseen trees as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. But eventually, you do make it to the cabin. Or rather, you make it to the place a cabin should have been. Instead, all you find is an empty hill. Oh, but of course he doesn't see the mirror. No, no, this isn't right. There's a cabin there. There's always supposed to be a cabin there. Don't ask him about the mirror. <laughs> he always says he never sees it. He always lies and he always makes it gone stay focused you still have a job to do and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts there is no mirror you know that as well as i do she's still here buried deep inside the earth just walk up the hill you always give too much space to the others it's why you always lose and what's wrong with giving them space? What if it helps them? What if they need to be heard? They've been heard too much. It's why they are the way they are. Exactly. They are delusions, and all that catering to them will do is drag you down to their level. You have to keep moving. Or you could just give up. Approach the mirror, I guess. You walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of the cabin. 
the cabin that isn't there. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see what's in it. Smash it to pieces. She's on the other side, and we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. It's the only way we can have our thoughts back. Just go around it. Just do something. It doesn't matter what. Proceed. Proceed? Proceed to where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. Just proceed, bro! There's another new one. How do you keep coming up with new things? I hope this works better than nothing did. Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. It's why he gets to make them. And it already has worked. It's gone, don't you see? We're one step closer to her. The interior of the cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, fuzzy, dreamlike nothing. It's empty and isolating, but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure therein. Wrong and unsettling as it may be, the only object of note is a pristine blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Take it. It's the only way forward. It's the only way forward. You've already tried everything else. Don't you remember? Whoa. You have to. Whoa. Whoa. You have to take the blade. You reach down to take the blade, but as you do, the ground beneath it shifts, the weapon sinking deep into the earth. You lean over the hole and gaze into the abyss. It is so very deep. Deep in the bowels of the earth, you see something staring back at you. It fills you with dread. It's her. She's watching us. She never stops watching us. You really are a coward. No, I'm not. With every word she speaks, the princess in the pit blinks closer. She's climbing. I said that way back when. You know that, right? Closer. I was having some fun, and I guess I wanted to see if I could not you. And closer. Watching over me forever. That was so brave. And closer. But forever is so, so long, and time erodes everything. Except for me. I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. And it's not this way to take my will. And let me out. This is so intense! Oh! This video is a long one. This is, a, this is gonna be a long one. It'll be so much fun. You and me, together, exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. Well, mostly just me. But you'll get to be there too. A witness. I can even make you a little cage if you want. Gilded and everything. I don't think I want that. Now don't pause. Don't try to resist. I've already molded you into what I mean. And you lost your power so long ago. Don't bother working yourself into a frenzy to get it back. Do something. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. What else? What else do we do? You're just an object, a tool. You once were something a long time ago. But was that something you... Or was that something you or is it just a dull and jaded memory? There's nothing other... There's no other ending here. Just take her hand and set her free. Holy you shit. Extend your hand to hers. For all her past cruelties, the moment feels gentle. Tender, even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate you. The motion is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. <sighs> and that's the end. I wonder what we're going to do next. I didn't think I'd be so... tired. The princess exhausted slumps. 
Why is it so cold? You're not meant to leave, my sweet. Just wasn't meant to be. It's not our time yet. You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. And now you all will be too. Yeah. I can finally think again. Almost. That mirror's back. What does that mean for us? I'm sure it'll be whisked away, just like her. Maybe it won't be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? Doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. Finally, we can smash it. Oh, you stop with the smashing. What do we say, boys? One last vain attempt to look at ourselves. I wonder what we look like now. I think I'd like that. Seems we've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. You step forward and then the secret's hidden, its mysteries remain unresolved. Someone tells me that this is the end of the line. But I don't feel bad about it. I'm ready. It feels okay. The fears gone. Oh, I'm done fighting. My heart feels quiet. The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. I'm ready for the truth. I'm ready to sleep. I'm just ready to be anywhere. <laughs> Boys, it's been an honor. Gaze into the mirror. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've unraveled the remains. Find yourself in the long quiet again. Proceeds to the cabin. We're at the cabin. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. Do you think there are more people out there? Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? Do you have thoughts on this vessel? When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? How many more vessels do you need? Okay. So there's kind of fewer and fewer questions. But it's more clearer now as to what exactly the questions are. Um, like before, we were very unsure of everything that was happening in general. But the more that we come back here and the more that we go through this, the more that we just keep going, it seems that we understand the situation a bit more. And our questions become less confusing to ourselves and to her and more clear. It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. You and I are the only things that interest me. We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something, but nothing cannot exist on its own, and because of that, nothing can't exist. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is filled with sadness. A doll, abandoned to the company of her darkest impulses. She desires only companionship, but the only thing she knows is how to hurt. She will make for a tender heart. Do not mourn her. She has finally found her way home. You know what's going to happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. Alright, I'm gonna stop asking you questions like that. Ha, huh, so, do you have a narrator? No. Their minds are empty. Existent but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? Kind of like the Watcher in Marvel. He does, I don't know why, but I know for I know this for a fact. He does, I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He does, and when I find him, you and I are finally going to have answers. He does, and when I find him, I'm going to kill him. He does, but you're going to keep that to yourself. When I find him, you and I are going to have some answers. 
Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. Mm. One, whatever you bring me next will be enough, and then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. Oh! A final multitude. Oh! If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. I'm ready to go back. Uh, is there anything specific you want me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. If this is the last stage for your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to say, I don't want to say this because, like, obviously I want to see this through. I obviously want to see her to full completion. Um, but this, ah, I just wish that I could ask questions and then, I mean, I, I do have a save state. So I could save, ask the question, and then if I don't like the response or what it leads to. But I'm just going to go through this. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you. Each of us will finally know what we are. And I'm so, I'm so fucking hyped. I'm I so- I will be here, waiting for you. Ah! Everything goes dark and you die. Bring the moment of clarity to her. All right. You're on a path in the wood. Quiet you. Well, we come once again to our final days of slaying the princess. We've been through a lot. We've been through death, love, torture, fear, frustration. And it seems like this next video that we do of Slay the Princess is gonna be the last. It's been, oh, it's been a wild ride. And I'm so glad that I played this game. I'm so glad I picked it up. Stay tuned, subscribe if you're new. I don't know why you'd be watching the third, fourth, third or fourth video of the series, but stay tuned. If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And if you want to see my last video of Slay the Princess, I'll have that link somewhere around here as well. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. I'll see you soon.